Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in this video, I'll show you the practical implementation of YOLO V6, which was released one week back by the research group at Meetone. YOLO V6 is a single stage object detection algorithm means it directly predict object bounding boxes for an image in one stage. So that means this is much faster and much more suitable for mobile devices. And guys, one more thing, this YOLO V6 is not a part of YOLO, uh, official YOLO series, right? But the results are quite good and just see this image. You can see that uh, over here, the first image is of YOLO V6, the uh, detections by YOLO V6 and the second image are the results by YOLO V5. And you can see the uh, confidence for every label. So over here in YOLO V6, our model is 93% sure that this is a person and YOLO V5 is only 67% sure that this is a person. In the same way you can see for this tie, over here YOLO V6 is 82% confident that this is a tie, right? And YOLO V5 is 68% confident that this is a tie. In the same way, you can see for this person and this person. Yes, one thing to note over here is that YOLO 5 is recognizing a tie uh, by wearing by the second person, but YOLO uh, V6 is not capable uh, of showing that. But let's see other images and uh, let me show you like YOLO V6 is providing us higher confidence level uh, label for uh, higher confidence labels okay so this is the second image here you can see yolo v6 is the first image is yolo v6 results by yolo v6 and over here model is 96 percent sure that this is a bus and yolo v5 is 85 percent sure that this is a bus in the same way you can see for other labels and you can see that the labels of yolo v6 um, you can see the the confidence uh, value is higher as compared to yolo v5 right in the same way you can check in this image also all right guys now i'll show you the practical implementation how we can implement this yolo v6 algorithm all right so the first thing is data set guys the data set uh, yolo v6 also accepts the data set in the format which yolo v5 or yolo v4 accepts means you need images and for every image you will have one text file that text file will have the annotation detail of all the uh, objects which are present in one particular image so let me show you the data set which i am using so guys uh, first what you need to do is create one folder with the name of data inside that data folder create two folder images and labels open images folder and over here you have to create these three folder test train and van okay and inside train folder put the images which you want to use for training your model and inside val folder put the images which you want to use for validation and test folder this is empty right now because this is an optional step so i'm not putting any data in it okay so in the same way now let's open this label folder inside labels also you have to create three folders like this and inside train folder you will have a text files which are related to the training images every image means if you are having 500 images for training that means you need 500 text file which will have the information for all those uh, you know objects which are present in that any particular image let me show this first image uh, text file and show you so the first image which i have one line represents one object okay first one is the class name and this is the bounding box coordinates okay in the same way second line is showing us the second object of that image okay so this is what we are having now in the same way and inside well folder also you will place all the validation um, uh, text files the text files which are related to the images which are present in val folder okay and guys the data set which i'm using is this is plant leaf disease de uh, detection data set and now one more thing which you need to do is okay 
so uh, let me go here okay so you need to clone this github repo this is the github repo by the group mechan group right we are cloning their github repo and then we are entering in the yolo v6 folder right this is the yolo v6 folder you can see okay so inside this yolo v6 folder you will be having different files and folders okay now this have one uh, file with the name of requirements.txt let's open this file guys when you'll open this file you will see this torch and torch vision over here okay and these are the other things which you need to install and now this when you'll run this uh, pip install requirement.txt like this you can install all the requirements of this model but when i installed it and while running my training i was getting one error with this name um, means the torch uh, version they are they have mentioned in this requirement.txt file so that was not uh, compiled with cuda so i have installed that torch separately with cuda okay so this is let's suppose if you get this error then you can follow this step okay while training you will get to know whether you're getting an error or not while training your algorithm so i was facing this error so then what i did is i installed the torch version like this so the gpu which i'm using is rtx 3090 so for uh, for that this is the compatible version so i have installed this okay so cd install the requirements and after that you have to create a dataset.yaml file the same way we create in yolo v5 the same way you have to create a dataset.yaml file for this also now let me show you my dataset.yaml file so this is my dataset.yaml file and you can see here you have to give the path of the images where training images and this is the path of the validation images okay and is coco this should be false because we are not using a coco data set so that's we are working on a custom data set so this should be a false over here number of classes the plant disease detection data set have 30 classes so i have written those classes over here so you're working on your custom data set and you have to change the number of classes over here as per your data set okay and then in next line you have to mention all the class names which are present in your uh, data set okay so i have mentioned the name of all the 30 classes over here so this is my data set dot yaml file and i have this file in my yolo v6 folder okay this file is over here now what to do next now we will perform the training so to perform the training this is the command python inside a tool folder they have a train.py file which is responsible for training our algorithm batch size is 16 you can change it so this the the things which you need to change is this dataset.yml file right from here my algorithm will get to know like this is the data set i want to use and i want to run it for 10 epochs right so when i'll run it after running this whole code you will see like this the results are saved in this file right so now let's open this location and see if we have all these files over here or not yolo v6 runs inside a run go for train inside a train exp7 and guys this weights folder best do, best underscore ckpt uh, this is the weight which we will use uh, in future for the predictions right so we have successfully trained our models and our weights are saved over here okay now once we uh, trained our model now we can test our model so for that this is the command inside a tools folder only there is one file with the name of info.py so we are using that file and the weights which weights we want to use the weights which we just got from our model after training this is the weight and this weights is in present at this location okay and now you will over here you will provide the test image on which you want to perform the testing so my test images is in test images folder inside that i have one uh, image 
on this image i want to perform the testing after testing results are stored at this location now let's open that location and see the image so this is the image on which i have performed testing so raspberry leaf so this is the result i'm getting so guys this is how this yolo v6 work i'll show this uh, jupiter notebook in my description section you can get the link from there and you can get this code from github right and you can try this code i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching